This is an MMA welterweight competition. Our referee overseeing proceedings, Mr. Blake Bryce. This is looking fiery already. Oh, both fighters straight out the blocks, looking to uh, oblique kick there. Slipsy from um, Al Khatib. They've uh, started fiery, but will they make it work? Lovely takedown there from Molhamadi. He's going to be careful of that armbar here. He needs to get that elbow out. It's quite deep at the moment. That's, that's looking. Can't quite see from this angle with his arms out. He's getting his elbow out, he's done the right job here, managed to clear his elbow, he should be safe now. Well, Al Khatib wasted no time there, took a shot going in, but he's hanging onto that arm and he really is trying to make something work here. Legs both locked in and uh, Hossein Molhamadi might have been the fly that came into the spider's web. Yeah, that was a close attempt, but uh, he's definitely out here, he's all clear. Now I can see him playing down some strokes yet, yeah, as a boy, we're back to our feet. Well, that's a different look on the face of Hussein Molhamadi, who, as I say, had all the numbers stacked in his favour. But uh, Al Khatib making the decisions, and uh, well, he's the foxy one here. Good front kick. Well, these, that, these are meaningful shots. Yeah, with that submission down, straight away, it's going to give him a lot of confidence. Al Khatib needs to really have a care here. If he's going to go for high kicks, he doesn't want to leave that leg up in the air because if he does, well, Molhamadi will take well advantage of that. But uh, this is starting to get sparky now. It's not exactly lightning fast, is it, Al Khatib? I mean, when he throws those shots, they almost look in slow motion. But you get the feeling he ducked that one pretty quick. But you always get the feeling it's all perfunctory. Takes a straight left, out comes the gum shield, and he felt that. You almost get the feeling that Al Khatib wants to take a shot just so he can get hold of Mohammadi. Yeah, sometimes, you know, he's that standing outside. He, he definitely is the slower of the two here. You know, so he's trying to get inside, get a distance, mate. Obviously, you saw that he had a very good submission attempt earlier, so he's probably wanting to back down to the canvas. At the moment, he's eating a few shots and a really good end to that with a low kick. Yeah, a little uppercut in there as well from Molhamadi, so good hands. But Molhamadi, well, he's had the smile wiped off his face here because Khatib now is marching forward. He's four-wheel drive, isn't he? He's really pressing this home. And Molhamadi has to try and find some advantage against a man that's just like granite, isn't he? Yeah, but the black scorpion, uh, I can see with so many shots, they are very stinging. You can hear them from the cage. So again, the gum shield lost, and uh, referee Blake Rice saying, you let it go this time, but you've got to keep that thing in your mouth. But uh, that's quite difficult when Hossein Mulhamadi is uh, behind a right hand trying to make you drop it. Sloppy work from Mulhamadi with the shots, but good evasive and fainting work. Yeah, he's, he looks very focused here, you know, like, he has been saying, he's keeping a good level, he's a taller guy, but he's punching on the same level, which is very good. good great combinations as well by the Black Scorpion. Yeah, well, Al Khatib now starting to take shots, and Molhamadi kind of come to the strategy that he thinks that if he can keep Khatib at range, he can fire in those shots, pepper away, and uh, stop having to get really involved, because Khatib, very dangerous on the inside. Yeah, Mal Hamadi looks like he's got good hands. You know, and what he's doing, good, good job of his, after his hands, he's coming back with the low kick. This is great work we're seeing from Hussein Mal Hamadi. Hooks there, uppercuts, and uh, he's just tagging Khatib. Yeah, Khatib, Khatib is uh, taking a bit of damage in this first round. Starting to blow slightly as well as you'd imagine. We're 59 seconds left. Wow, we're into the last minute. That's got, that first round's gone around pretty fast. Explosive performance from both fighters. We really have seen great work here from these two. And just look at Khatib, as I say, four-wheel drive. He keeps coming forward. Molhamadi just had a little chance to take a breather here. Moving back, fainting, slipping, trying to keep out of range, trying to make Khatib work, but not get involved himself. Left-right combinations, taking his time and slipping the comebacks from Al Khatib. Well, Al Khatib now chasing Mohammadi. Mohammadi doesn't want to hang around there, does he? 
gets caught with an uppercut there. Khatib now really pressing the point. Khatib coming forward like a lion. Absolutely incredible performance here from the 34-year-old. Yeah, he's coming forward very aggressive. He saw a little bit of, you know, danger there. Um, and they're trying to put his man away. Well, I have to say that Mohammed Al Khatib is open for business here, and Hossein Mulhamadi does not want to be hanging around in one of the aisles in Khatib's mall, I tell you, because he'll get more than he bargained for. What a great opening round in this second bout, my goodness me. There is no backing down from Mohammed Al Khatib here. He's given as good as he's got, and I think maybe just edged it in that round. It would well, be a turn up for the books, wouldn't it, if the judges saw it that way? It was a very, very good round. You know, obviously we saw like uh, Khatib with, with a submission attempt early doors, and then he, he started strong and he finished strong. So that definitely puts him in good steam for that round. You know? But obviously, um, the Black Scorpion was doing a great job with some strikes and his low kicks as well. Absolutely, and then um, Hussein Malawadi seemed to take control mid-round, but it was sort of like a revolving door of pain because as he laid off Petty to try and get his own shots in, it worked for about 30 seconds, but back round came Khatib and started hammering out those shots. I mean, it's a great performance. Well, we go to two of three. Anything could happen. Hossein Malhamadi with the red tape. Mohammed Al Khatib with the blue. And the age difference here, just to remind you again, is... Eight years. 26 plays, 34. Oh, you saw that punch there by Khatib. He's rocked himself. Oh, he's going down. Khatib goes down. He's trying, to, he's trying to hold on to a single leg, but he's still hurt. He's trying to maybe use his to recover. Took a big hand that sent him down. Now, Mohamedi tries to finish this, and Khatib on his feet, but he's taking shots. There's an elbow, and that's an illegal strike. And Blake Rice, referee, rightly pulls Hossein Mohamedi away and uh, checks that uh, Khatib is in good shape and hasn't suffered. Yeah, I think Khatib would be wise to use this a little bit more as a break. You know, he was rocked earlier on with a shot. Went, went down to the canvas. He got, he, got, he got up a bit too quick for my liking, you know, he should have maybe stayed down there a little bit to try and recover a bit more. Got back to his feet, a legal blow gives him a little bit more time to recover. Here. Referee Blake Grice on that like a bonnet and uh, he's called for the cage to be opened and for the doctor to check. I mean, if there is a cut here on the back of the head, that could be a DQ here. I mean, it wasn't a predetermined intentional move it was just in the heat of the moment that Mol Hamadi landed that shot and in a sense you know I don't think it was that intentional you know what Al Khatib is the kind of fighter that would want to fight on I mean he's come here to do business and I mean he's just showing so much heart but we have to wait and see what the officials say it would be a shame if this bout ended in this way. Yeah, definitely. It was like one of those uh, shots where, obviously, the, in Muay Thai is, is, le is legal, but in MMA it's not. So, uh, it was a... Well, we know Hossein Mohammadi trains with Prince Amir, who's a well-known kickboxer. He's a Muay Thai specialist. And what happens is, in the cage, you always revert back to what you want and what you know and do best. And Blake Rice rightly deducts a point for that. But, thank goodness, this about is going to continue and I hope it favours Al Khatib. Yeah, well, a, a point deduction in a three round fight is massive, you know. So obviously now Black Scorpion is not going to want this to go to the scorecards. So Hussein Malhamadi will know that he's going to start to step on the gas here and start to power in the shot. He definitely had the edge there in that last exchange. Al Khatib was hurt, survived hung on to that single leg takedown, went down to the wire and the mat. But, uh, well, Brad, he survived, but that's all he's done, hasn't he? Because, well, it's raining pain again. Mohamadi back on the front foot. Yeah, he hasn't thrown much back, you know, that's the thing. He's really recovered, but he, he, he hasn't recovered in, in a fighting sense. Ego, that's the first little bit of action he's done, but obviously, I don't think it was just that down elbow. He was hurt really badly before. And you see the Black Scorpion really picking his shots here now. 
Now you can see this is right in the territory of Mohammadi, the kickboxing specialist, the Muay Thai fighter, left-right combination, low kick, keeping the punches straight, really working now, using his energy and his youth to advantage himself here against Al Khatib. But Al Khatib is like Mount Rushmore, he's like granite, and those punches are hard and heavy. Al Khatib is looking to do damage. He's not just throwing them out, landing, peppering shots. These are big, big gunshots going out. Yeah, it looks like he's recovered now. He started to throw back and had a good, good little bit of success in a couple of combinations there. But I'm really impressed with the Black, Black Scorpions combinations. You know, it, it, because Al Khatib has got um, a bit more of a higher guard, he, he, he's peppering upstairs and, and looking at going down to the body and then finishing the low kick. That low kick, you know, is starting to find a home. There you go, and again. You're right, Brad, because we're seeing that right front lead, left front lead leg starting to glow red, and uh, that will start to grind Al Khatib down. In topic discharge, you can only go so many of those shots before they really start to make your legs feel like lead. But look at Al Khatib comes back with a high kick himself, left right high kick combination, and he throws back at the kickboxer what the kickboxer does best. Yeah, that was close. I missed by millimeters. Well, I'm looking at Al Khatib and he's smiling back at Hussein Mohammadi. And you know, and I know, that's the last thing you want to see in an opponent, isn't it? When you've given them everything and they look back at you and start to grin. That's a danger sign. Al Khatib very much in this. Yeah, and unfortunately, a little front kick to, to the Never regions. Gives both fighters actually a, bit of, a little bit of a break. Both of them breathing heavily and it's still only the second round. So an unintentional offside shot and uh, no admonishment from referee. Mol Hamadi quick to get back to business here. So I suppose Al Khatib came here with more hope than expectation and I would suspect that Mol Hamadi thought that Al Khatib would have come in not expecting him to perform like this. And again the gum shield goes. Well, very emphatic statement there from referee Blake Rice. He says, if that comes out once more, it's a point deduction. Well, what will happen there? That will throw the cat amongst the pigeons. And uh, guess what's happened? Yeah, it may look both lost a point in this same round, which is very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Well, there it is. It's a little bit unfortunate because uh, he just needs a better mouthpiece. You know, what I'd say if my mouthpiece got knocked out, I'll just carry on fighting. You, know, you don't need it in. Well, the scoreboard resets to zero, doesn't it, really? Yeah. And that's such a shame for Al Khatib. But he goes for the two and he takes his man down, down on the back of the single leg. Doesn't land it, doesn't make it happen, but comes back on the rebound to try and finish it. And the body language there says it all. Those shoulders going up and down. And they are saying, I'm coming back to reclaim the lost ground that uh, just happened there with the gum shield. Yeah, I'd like to see Al Khatib get, get this. You know, back down to the canvas, you know, he had a little good good thing at the, end of the, I mean, the beginning of the first round, and we haven't seen it again since. It looked like he had a good promising ground game. But he's getting caught up here. He, he, obviously, you see that he's an old man, and he likes a bit of a war. Well, yeah. So, at the end of the second, I'm not even going to hazard how the judges are seeing this, but we can just revisit all the action here. And I mean, it was terrific. This is from the first round. And uh, you can see Al Khatib chasing Hossein Mohamedi. Yeah, I think the cleaning work is uh, by Al Mohamedi. But Al Khatib is, for me, he takes a bit of a breath, gets his recomposed, and then he just goes blitz. And goes, you know, and in every one of those exchanges, he looks very dangerous. That something could happen. You know, so that's what he's doing. He's taking his time and then, and then coming back strong. You know, where I think the cleaner work is by the black school. Okay, you understand? The cage and down. What do I want you to do? Well, instructions from the corner there. And uh, just so unfortunate that the gum shield was the cause of a point deduction. It evened up the scoreboard, though. Yeah. Hussein Mohamedi had lots of work to do there, but, uh, well, not so much now. Yeah, they both had a point deducted in that round. One for a downward elbow, one for spinning out the mouthpiece. We're going to the third and final round in this three-round matchup at welterweight. Hossein Mohamedi. 
Mohamed Al Khatib. See Al Khatib kind of a little limping a little bit here, with, obviously with those low kicks. Chases forward Al Khatib, not as if he's got a plan as well. It's not to come in for a takedown or anything. He just wants to get on the inside and hurt Mohamidi. Mohamidi taking it in his stride. Yeah, again, Muay Thai stylist. Yeah, Al Mohamidi. You know these combinations of low kicks. And, you know, Al Khatib is going to be limping for a few days. So hang on to the right leg. Oh, that was cheeky. But takes a couple of shots, throws out the left there and catches Mohamidi. Yeah, he walks straight in onto a jab there. And now Al Khatib desperate to try and take this to the ground. And it's interesting because I think he's realised that Hossein Mohamidi doesn't want to go to the canvas. And maybe we might see what happened in the first round repeat itself where Khatib has an advantage, but it's left too late in the fight. And yeah. that left leg has gone. Yeah, you can see the grimacing on the face there. Gets desperate for this takedown. Can he finish it? No, he can't. He's going back to beat. I can see him punishing his leg now. Well, you see, a topic discharge. That spot on the thigh is just a light switch. But now we have gone to the mat. And this is where life gets very interesting. Yeah, he got a bit uh, you know, greedy with that leg kick. And uh, obviously, El Khadib read it very well and used that for a takedown. Well, we've seen a knee strike there. There was the possibility of an arm in guillotine, but Al Khatib takes that shot to the left lead leg again. I mean, how he's surviving this, I don't know. But uh, we've got three minutes left in this round, and this is going to get ugly. It's going to get medieval. Yeah, this leg kick is definitely taking a lot of toll in this round, definitely. But now I can see maybe if he now chooses to go upstairs with it, because Al Khatib is trying now, his arms are coming down trying to block this kick. If he just went upstairs now. With, with the kick, you, you could see a good highlight finish. Well, this is starting to get quite raggedy now. The right eye of Hossein Mohamidi maybe just took the corner or the nick of a thumb or, or a glove, but uh, being given full time to rest. And uh, referee Blake Bryce saying, you need to be careful. And uh, Al Khatib saying, you know, it was unintentional, it was the corner of the glove. Mohamidi being given the full compliment to recover. I think this actually favours Al Khadib, you know, gives him a little bit of a break. So just seeing the highlights there and how that happened. Well, it was the left hand, so we're blind to it. We can't see whether it had intent or not, but uh, referee doesn't think so. Touch of gloves, we go into the last two minutes and 40 seconds of this third and final round it seems like they've been at it all night Hossein Mohamidi against Mohamed Al Khatib yeah how this fight started I'm surprised we've seen it here in the third round the staying power of Al Khatib is monumental I mean he really is the motivation just must be sky high he's banging them out he's taking them and Molamidi, no slouch, is he? He's got good boxing skills, good kickboxing skills. He just cannot cause Al Khatib problems here. And an overhand left from Khatib. Take that with you when you go. Yeah, Up goes the high kick. Al Khatib showing good, good thing from his fitness. You know, he, he's still there taking a lot. Oh, he's, yeah, his mouthpiece is out again. The referee's letting him continue. Khatib now trying to come in behind a left-right combination. Uh, referee allowing the gum shield to be replaced. Yeah, maybe he should get a new gum, gum shield. It's not the case he's getting punched out sometimes, he's just slipping out because he's breathing heavily, his mouth's open. So he doesn't touch a little jab or anything and his mouthpiece is falling out. When he's starting to take heavy gum fire now, Hussein Mohamidi in control. Mohamed Al Khatib marches forward. I mean, incredibly brave but uh, that left lead leg is being punished and it's causing a problem he's trying to protect it Al Khatib yeah he, he can't he can't disguise how much that is hurting him now he's wincing every time that lands and you saw it there 
You can actually, I've seen many, many fights stopped by low kicks, and it could eat, this could be a TKO just from a low kick. Well, that's a pain bomb being dropped by Hossein Malhamadi. Not keen to go down to the ground though, is he? That open guard from Al Khatib. The scissor legs just keeping Malhamadi out at range. And I mean, Malhamadi, can he afford to wind the clock down like this? Uh, I think he's got no choice. He, he don't want to get back to his feet. Oh, uh, uh, El Mah Mahadi, yeah, I think so. I think he's winning this now. Gotta be careful, that was very close to the face. Or did clip him. Well, Blake Grice now starting to get just a little bit testy here. Al Khatib has taken what we think might be a foul strike. Yeah, Blake Grice has had his workout on this fight. Al Khatib. Well, he's fallen foul, hasn't he? He's had an elbow to the back of the head. There's the kick again. It was a soccer kick to the face. Yeah, Twice. Complete illegal blow. I don't know what he's thinking there. You know, it'd be a shame that this fight could end with that. You know, it could be a DQ because that was a really bad kick, to be honest. Seeing it in, it, it in the flesh where I saw it, I didn't see it too much. But when I saw the replay, that was a very stupid kick. Well, I have to say, yeah, it was... Uh, the elbow strike, I gave a little bit of uh, benefit of the doubt to Mohammadi that the elbow strike was an unintentional consequence of the excitement of that combination and the follow through that's automatic. But that was considered, it was twice, and um, yeah, it was foolhardy. And I have to say, you know, the emotional side of me just maybe says that uh, yeah. maybe Al Khatib should benefit from that he's not being allowed to continue he was hurt yeah and in comes referee mark goddard as well to discuss the rule system with blake grice but you know you're an expert yeah Brad. i think that's going to be a dq that not, it's not only like i say the first illegal blow he's done tonight um i think it's very stupid by uh mama hidi is and he was winning this fight you know and i have got a feeling he's gonna let it slip away now with a dq he's there well, he's celebrating i think he doesn't know the rules Obviously, he doesn't. It's two illegal blows. He needs to, you know, need, need to uh, study the rules before he steps into this octagon. Well, both very experienced referees. When I say experienced, I mean, you know, the very highest level these uh, gentlemen have performed at. Mark Goddard and Blake Price, the very, very highest level. So they will call it. And a good decision there from referee to intervene and call it a halt. Safety first. Al Khatib has to retire. He's not allowed to continue. And uh, as has been pointed out by our other supreme expert, my co commentator, Brad Pickett, it's an illegal strike. And so it means a loss by DQ for Hossein, the Black Scorpion. Mulhamadi. However, we'll need an official verdict on that. And uh, I don't think we're very long in waiting for that to come now. So um, what a shame because it was such an exciting bout. And really, it was fraught though, wasn't it, with uh, thrills and spills. There was just too much going on there, Brad. Yeah, there's a lot of action. Like, you can see that... Al uh, uh, Khabib, you know, like, uh, he's... Leg was, you know, in a bad way towards the end of that third round, you know, and uh, he couldn't be. I don't think he even could get back to his feet if he wanted to. You see him now; he's sitting on the stool, and I, I think, I think his legs is giving him more trouble than anything, you know. Uh, so it's unfortunate as a legal blow then in this fight. But so do you know what, Brad? I mean, I don't want to talk and blow hot air out of my hat, but you know, I come from a Kyokushin background. It's low kick based, and I mean, you know, I'm not a tall guy and I'm not that flexible either. I can hardly stretch to get to my wallet. So, you know, I was a low kick specialist. And if I was in a situation like Mohamedi, he's a tall guy, he's rangy, he's a multi stylist. If after the end of the first round, I could see that this wasn't going to go to the ground very quickly and I was having an effect with the low kick, I'd have spent all day banging that right leg out into the left lead leg of um, Al Khatib and, you know, warn him down. He could see the effect it was happening. Why he forced the man to the ground to soccer kick him in the head just just doesn't bear thinking about, does it? Yeah, I see right now. Obviously, I think the words got back to him that, that he's going to get DQ'd for this and he was 
not happy and he, and he stormed out the cage, which is also not a good sign, you know? Absolutely, you know, we must observe. Yeah, you need, you need to respect the rules of, of the sport, you know, uh, if you don't understand them, that, that, that's, your, that's your, your job to understand the rules and be aware of the weapon that you're using within the cage. Ultimate, sorry. So, we're going to wait to hear what the official verdict is, but uh, Mol Hamadi has left the ring, and uh, this is only our second bout. What thrills and spills in store for us here? And uh, Mark Goddard, the referee, and Lamine Andosis going over to speak to the uh, Al Hossein Mol Hamadi camp to just explain exactly why that's, uh, that has been a problem. But look at this, you can't take away from the result, and the result is that Mohammed Al Khatib, at 34 years of age, coming into this bout as the paper underdog, taken a win by DQ, and you know what? If I was Mohammed Al Khatib, after being elbow struck to the head and soccer kicked to the face, I'd have said, I'll take that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it was a give me, you know? Like, uh, I'm not saying he wants to win this way. Of course, any fighter doesn't win this way, but he was badly hurt with those low kicks and uh, obviously getting kicked in the face, he was just rubbed salt into the wounds. So the official announcement being made, but we can be in no doubt that is Mohamed Al Khatib who takes the win and uh, there's an emotional side of me Brad that's uh, pretty pleased with that result as I suspect he will be.